What's going on guys, Nico back here with another Madden video and in today's video we're going to be going over the Team of the Week players for Week 14 and 15. We have the Heroes, Player of the Week, Set Pieces, Legends, LTDs, all of it revealed. If you guys are excited for the video, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Turn that bell on so you get notified whenever I upload a video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, it's top link in the description. There's also my Twitter on the screen right now. Right there, there's also two more videos in the description you can check out after this one. Let's get into the players. All right, guys, starting out with the legends, we have four really good legends. We have Fred Taylor, ja he, he is Jaguars and Patriots Cam. 95 speed, 96 excel, 95 agility, 94 carrying, 66 catching, 94 change of direction, 93 trucking, 96 break tackle. Everything about this card except for the catching is amazing. He's definitely going to be one of the best running backs in the game. At safety, we have Ken Houston, 93 speed, 95 excel, 86 tackling, 94 play rec, 94 pursuit, 93 man, 96 zone, 84 hit power. He is a little slow, but his his, his coverage stats are insanely good. I, I, I think he is like 6'1", so he's not too short. Pretty good card right there for Ken Houston. At wide receiver, we get Joe Horn here, 94 speed, 91 jumping, 95 catching, 93 catching traffic, 93 spec catch, 91 short, 94 medium, 96 deep. He gets Saints, Chiefs, and Falcons chem, I think. I don't know how tall he is. He looks tall in the picture. I didn't. I, I didn't even actually look that up. But he is. He is fast. Good route running. He's gonna be a good receiver. And they get Reggie White. This card is absolutely insane. 83 speed. 93 excel. 95 strength. 91 tackling. 94 play rec. 95 block shed. 97 power move. 89 finesse move. Powered up. 90 90. And he's at 98 power move with 84 speed. 95 plus on both strength and block. Strength and block shed. Reggie White's gonna be incredible. Absolutely insane card right there. Probably the one, one, one of the best. There's definitely a card better than him, but he's definitely one of the best dropping later today. 94 speed, 96 excel on Mike Hughes, cornerback. I think he had like a, a, a fumble recovery for a touchdown in week 14 or 15. 97 agility, 92 jumping, 93 play rack, 95 man, 90 zone, 88 press. Gonna be a pretty good card. Also, these cards are really high overall, 96 overall, which I really like to see. 90 speed on Darius Leonard right here for week 14, 93 excel, 84 strength, 97 tackling, 95 play rack, 89 block shed, 61 power move, 73 finesse move. If they really wanted to make Darius Leonard's cards usable, he needs to have at least 93 speed. He needs to have at least 95 excel. The tackling should is, is obviously good. The strength should be 90. The block shed should be 95. And the zone has to be 90. That's that's really how, the only way they can make this a good card if, if he's not going to be a middle linebacker or a, pa a pass rusher. So... Darius Leonard there is always underwhelming. Our set pieces, we get 85 Rashad Penny. And then Miles Garrett is going to get a plus one for his game against the Ravens where he had that strip sack and then, and then, he, and then he returned it for a, a touchdown. So he's going to get a plus one. 89s, we get Randy Gregory here against for against the Washington football team. And we get T. Higgins for his game against the Niners. Um, and then 92s, we have Aziz Al Shire. For the 49ers in his game against the Bengals. And then we're going to have Jakeem Graham with 94 speed. Pretty good budget card if you do the solos pick him. But we get Jakeem Graham right here with 94 speed. So pretty good right there. And we're going to go to week 15, I believe. We have Jermaine Pratt. He had like 15 tackles against the Broncos. Same game. And we have Travis Kelsey who had that great uh, Thursday night football game against the Chargers. He's in the end of his card right here. Plus one in his power up. Your 89s. Or DJ Wanham, I think that's how you say it. He's fine. I mean, obviously not really that good. And they get Tyler Huntley, which isn't a bad card. He, he's going to get a skate artist, good throw on the run. Obviously not anyone's probably not going to use this card, but it is fun to see a Raven in there. We get Amani Oruarie, I think that's how you say it. He had that diving pick against the Cardinals, I believe. I, I don't know if it was the Cardinals. Maybe it was the Vikings. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm really not sure, but he's he's on 93 speed, 92 uh, zone, so good stuff there. We get Duke Johnson, 93 speed, 93 excel, 92 agility, 85 catching. He's gonna be a really solid running back for the Dolphins. And then we have one LTD for Week 14. We have Hassan Reddick, 97 overall, powered up to a 98. He's got 99 finesse move, 93 speed powered up, 95 excel powered up. This card's gonna be really good, especially and Cardinals team teams are just stacked. And then your other one is going to be OBJ, 97 overall. This is by far the best card in the in the drop. This card's going to be crazy. 95 speed, 95 jumping, 94 catching, 95 catching traffic, 97 spec catch, 97 short, 94 medium, 94 deep. He's going to be easily the best receiver in the game. Maybe not the best archetype, but he's got good size, he's, and he's got every stat that you, you really need on a card. That card's going to be 
insanely expensive. We also have a steep peak at Wildcard Wednesday tomorrow. It's Chandler Jones. It's going to be flashbacks. 85 speed. Good power move, finesse move combo. Good strength and block shade combo. Pretty good pass rush right there for Cardinals team teams. And that's really it. We have all these players coming out. Again, and I, I know I just started the Ravens series, but I am going to switch team teams. I don't know what, what I'm going to switch to yet. But I but since the Ravens didn't make the playoffs, I want to switch to a, a team where I can actually participate in the playoff promo. Maybe the Ravens can get legends, but... I really would like to switch to a playoff team. I was looking at the Chiefs, but there's a couple pretty expensive guys in there like Chris Jones, Kyle Fuller, or K Kendall Fuller. It could be the Bills, could be the Titans. I'm not sure. So we'll, we'll, we'll definitely have to see. Uh, I, it, it also could be the 49ers, Bengals. I should probably not the Bengals since I'm a Ravens fan, but it would probably be 49ers, Bills, Chiefs, or Titans. It would probably be one of them. But we'll, we'll, we'll definitely have to see there. I'm not sure how tall Joe Horn is. Uh, we can check that out as well. He's only six foot one. Okay, so obviously he's not too short, but he's obviously and, he, and he's, he's not too fast either, though. So yeah, he he gets Chiefs, Saints, and Falcons. Cam, good stuff right there. This is gonna boost a lot of theme teams. Like the Chiefs theme team, this is this is what I was looking at. Obviously, they're gonna get Joe Horn as well to add on to this, and and Mike Hughes. I'm not sure if they get anyone else. Uh, Kelsey gets a plus one. So they do get a lot of upgrades here today. They get three upgrades. And so they would get an extra receiver. So I would, I would, I would bump Emmanuel Sanders out. Kelsey's going to go up to a 95 overall. And then they get another corner, which they really don't need. They have insane corners. But yeah, that's really it. Team of the Week is dropping. Make sure to do your solos. Get your Team of the Year token, which Team of the Year is right around the corner as well. We also have Super Bowl. Playoffs promo is obviously expected to drop Friday. I would be shocked if it didn't. It should, and then we should get all of our players, all of our legends, whatever, for playoffs. And then we, we we move right into Team of the Year and Super Bowl and honor. So a lot of content coming up. Absolutely a ton. We also still obviously have our dailies with Team of the Week. will be ending, actually, next week, I think. It really depends on what they do. I, I don't know if they're going to bunch three weeks in together, week 16, 17, and 18 into in together next week, or they're going to do 16, 17, and then do 18 separate. I don't know what they're going to do. Hopefully they bunch it in all together. It'll be a humongous drop. It'll be fun. You know to upgrade all these team teams which they really just did today they dropped a ton of stuff which is coming out around 2 p.m eastern also weekend league rewards dropping i didn't finish weekend league so it kind of stinks i was trying to and I, ju I just couldn't fit it in had a lot of stuff going on but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button turn that bell on so you get notified whenever i upload a video make sure to follow me on twitter it's top link in the description again also right on the screen right now make sure to Watch the video popping on your screen right now. There's also a playlist with all my informational videos, all the videos throughout Madden 22. Check that out, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.